What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, how y'all doing today on this fine, fine Tuesday? Um, this week, I'm trying something a little different. I've been doing a lot of shopping. So I'm doing a huge, huge try on and thrifted haul. So y'all bear with me. This may be a long one. Um, it's from my favorite couple of stores in North Carolina and Raleigh. One called... Carolina Thrift and another one called you already know the famous Goodwill so we're gonna start with shoes today all right so <laughs> let me see these babies let me cover up my top ties. these are Madeline um, heels sandal heels or whatever um, they have the black heel it's cheetah print it's like a little slide at the top. Um, I got them from Carolina Thrift. They were, let me see, it was 50% off day. They're $9.99. I got them for $5. So, you know, I thought these were a steal. I thought they'd be perfect for the summer. And literally everything that I bought that day, I figured they would be really cute. Um, like accessories or statement shoes to go with what I bought. So, yeah. See my lines. The next shoe that I have is this BCBG Generation Pump. I got it from Goodwill. It's $2.99. Uh, I got it for the $5 bag day. So actually I got it pretty much for free. Uh, so yeah, I thought this was a steal. The classic pump. It has suede detailing. Uh, I believe this is a three and a half inch heel. So, you already know I'm going to crack these because <laughs> I needed a basic pump and these are perfect for work or, you know, business or whenever you're going out and you want to look nice while still being comfortable because they have that uh, extra, like, cushion and, you know, that arch for your heels. So, they're made very, very well. You, you already know. It's BCBG. So, they're perfect. The next heel that we have is these babies, uh, the Ralph Lauren wedge. I don't know if people wear wedges anymore. I don't care. I just love the yellow, the fact that they're Ralph Lauren, and um, you can see the little crisscrossing detailing in the front, the corkscrew kind of detailing of the wedge. I thought they'd be perfect for the summer. Um, and what I styled it with, it was the perfect like pop of color. It kind of blended with the shirt, but, you know, I feel like it was something that I needed. So, yeah, we have the Ralph Lauren heels. And I got them on the $5 bag day, so, of course, they were almost for free. I can't tell you how much they, the price range is, um, retail price for these, because I didn't do that much research. But, you know, they're Ralph Lauren, so I'm pretty sure it's a pretty penny. But, you know, I got it for free. Salvation Army. Yes. Salvation Army. That's where you need to go on the first of the month for five dollar bag days, ladies and gentlemen, and resellers. You probably already know. You are you already know that because they be knowing how to get stuff for the good deals. But yes, five dollar bag day. It'll bless you. Okay. Now, these are my lines too. I got these from Carolina Thrift. Uh, they're black and white and kind of that classic little wedge heeled um, shoe they were $2.95 so you know I thought they were cutesy something like a basic little kind of wedged sandal flat um, that can still you can wear and still be comfortable because you know I love block heels and um, I can do a stiletto or a regular heel but I prefer a block heel or a wedge or a flat because I like to be comfortable but still cute. So anyways, the next shoe that we got going on today is this Franco Sarto um, heel. It has a suede navy blue. I don't know if you can tell in the light. You can see it a little bit. Detailing, um, patent leathered, black detailing in the rest of the shoe. It's a strappy heel. I needed something like this. I figured it'd be really good for work. Um, if not, if you're just doing a business look or you're going, I don't know, out to an event or something, you want to wear a dress or jeans or, 
uh, leggings or a skirt this would be a perfect heel and it has a, like a nice little subtle pop of color with the navy uh, it could be perfect in spring summer it could be good in the fall winter you never know that navy blue you can literally do it for any season but I figured it'd be nice what else do we have for shoes nothing nothing we have this bag right here that I got from where did I get this from <laughs> I got this from Carolina Thrift, I believe. Yes, I got it from Carolina Thrift, 50% uh, off. It was $6.99, so I got it for $3.50. It has that really pretty kind of like marble detailing. It looks really expensive. It came with a strap. I have stuff in here, so I planned on wearing it to an event. But it came with a strap. So, it's really cute. It has that gold... Uh, hardware detailing right here on the straps, clasps, or whatever, zipper, uh, closing, closure. So, it's really cute. I love a little purse, a statement bag. That's what I live for. So, I'm always spotting those babies out and getting them for, you know, next to nothing. Next, we have this pretty little belt right here that I got from Salvation Army on $5 bag day. It has like a marble kind of stonish uh clasp on the buckle and then a striped detailing navy blue black and navy blue red excuse me navy blue red a uh, mustard yellow and white kind of strappy detail uh show you how it looks as you can see how it fits you know really nice on the body i love these kind of buckles that um it has the little belt loops on it it only has two so you know i love belts like this where you can just pull it tight and you don't have to worry about making a new hole with a knife or getting a, a belt hole puncher to make it fit around your waist so yeah, I thought this was really cute and it can go with literally anything or all of my pieces and be that statement accessory or just something to help pull something together. So I thought it'd be really cute. So yeah. Obviously, since I had on that belt, I thought it'd be a good idea to just show you what the the jeans I got. They're Dahlia's jeans, size 27, 28 waist. Uh, High-waisted, really, really cute, uh, kind of a medium washed then um let me show you it has no rips no holes that classic um kind of plain denim jeans where did i get these babies from i got these these from the where did i get them from <laughs> i think i got them from carolina thrift so yeah, I got them from Caroline Thrift. And that's it for the jeans. I don't really buy jeans that much. I need a lot of new pair. I've been kind of copping a little bit of everything. So, all right, on to the next item. Next, we have this kind of romantic, frilly, very girly, very color blocked uh, dress that I got from. Carolina Thrift, it was $3.99, no, it was $6.99, excuse me, I got it for $3.50 um, on 50% off day, and yeah, it's super cute, super girly, super fun, um, about to show you what it looks like, alrighty, you can see what it looks like when I try it on, I believe it's a small um, luckily I can still fit smalls, you know, my body's getting a little bigger every day, so I might be out of this joint in a couple of days. But, uh, yeah, it's very girly, very pretty, very feminine, kind of romantic and frilly, and I thought it would be really cute in the summer. I love to have on try-on, I mean, throw-on dresses in the summer, so I got a lot of dresses you'll see in this haul. And, uh, yeah, so that's this look, this color-blocked frilly dress. And the next one we have is this cachet, um, very long, very, very, very long, all the way down to your toes, uh, dress. It's very fitted. It's so 
amazing. I thought it was, you know, super expensive. Because it said Jessica McIntosh or something like that. I thought it was like, of course it's a designer. But, um, you know, I thought it was super like, luxury. I don't know. But it's made very, very well. It has like a, I don't know what you call this. But it looks like, it looks kind of like a cheetah print. But not really. I can't explain the print to you. I don't know. It's just really, really cute. So I'm about to show you what it looks like on. Alright, so this is how it looks on. It's so amazing. It's very sexy and like fitted. It hugs you in all the right places. And this is the back. I thought the back was, would look really nice. So I plan on wearing it with these. <laughs> with these cheetah print heels. I don't know. That's just how my mind works. Or maybe these. Or. I don't know. But that's what I plan on wearing it with. So yeah. It's my favorite. One of my favorite finds. I love everything that I got. But this is one of my favorites. So on to the next one. Okay this next outfit. I got from. The. I can never remember where I get stuff from. It's killing me. I don't know where my mind is right now. I got this from Carolina Thrift, I believe. It looks yellow in the light, but it's actually lime green. I'm hating that. Excuse my nipples. Hey, yeah, I got this from this ribbed shirt from Carolina Thrift. And no, Salvation Army. No, Carolina Thrift. <laughs> For uh 50% off and uh this skirt from Carolina Thrift as well. 50% off. Actually, no. Salvation Army. It was a five dollar bag day. <laughs> I'm gonna stop telling you how much stuff is because I'm forgetting where I got stuff from. And it's it's blowing me. It might be blowing you too, but I don't care. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. Just know I got it from the thrift store. For uh, for the free, okay. Basically, you throw everything in. Okay, let me explain to you what the five dollar bag day is, right? It's it's self explanatory, but people might not understand it. So they give you these little bags. I'm gonna show you how big. It's like it's like a regular, you know, what the bags that you get from Food Line, like a, a grocery shopping bag. Okay, you have to tuck and roll you know to get everything in there so i had two bags i got everything for ten dollars um not all of this stuff but the majority of it so go girl go to your salvation army and get you something for five dollars okay don't even play yourself like you already know that's what you need to be doing and i wish people i wish i had a savers by me because i watched be jones style and her stuff is really cute so I be wishing I can go to Savers, but there's none in my area. But I still be getting, I still score, you know, every time I go. So you already know. But yeah, we're on to the next one. Alright, so this next dress I got from, I'm not going to mess this up this time, y'all. I got this from Carolina Thrift. People, I don't know if people really wear strapless sundresses anymore, but I thought this one was really cute. I love the print. It was very bohemian, but um, it has a different print all over. I'm going to try to show you. It has a different print all over. So, it's very long. It comes down to my ankles, and it has a little tie um, straps. On the front of it, I thought to tie it, you know, right under the boob, but you can literally tie it anywhere. Kind of. I guess, yeah. You can tie it anywhere. So I thought this was really cute and pretty and perfect for the summer. Like, that perfect thorn dress that isn't too basic or whatever. So, yeah, I thought it would be cute with maybe the Ralph Lauren for a pop of color. Or, of course, the cheetah print. You already know. So, yeah. On to the next one. Okay, this next beautiful jumper is very tribal with also that 
hints of color, two-tone color. The back is beautiful. I love it with the strappy little pop of yellow. Um, and it's not... Uh, I keep trying to talk and I can't think of what I want to say. It's not the usual skinny ankled jumper. Okay, it has bell bottoms, right? So I thought it was cute and unique and it fit perfectly. So I thought it would be really cute to wear, um, I don't know, to a music festival or to, you know, I don't know, somewhere to get groceries. <laughs> like, not to get groceries, but I don't know, like to wear out anywhere. You can go to brunch in this. You can go to lunch in this. You can go to work in this. You know, just wear a nice little jacket or a sweater or something. You can go to a music festival like Coachella and, you know, I don't know what is it, Made in America or what is it? Um, what's that one in New York? I can't think of what it's called, but that one too. You know, if you know what it is, leave a comment because I can't think right now. But yeah, what did I plan on wearing with this? The Cheetah Girl. That Cheetah Madeline Hill. It's just the perfect statement. You know, it goes with literally everything. Uh, what else could you wear? You could wear a sneaker with it. You could wear a slide with it. Um, you can wear a basic sandal if that's if that's what you want to do. A mule, something. I don't know. Okay, so that's this jumper. We have couple pieces coming up next bear with me y'all i know this is a really long video but i want to show y'all everything that i got so yeah okay so this dress is very pretty with the keyhole print it's very feminine with how it's made and how it's cut it's kind of slinky it fits kind of tight around the waist but it's a very loose around the body and you, it's a perfect kind of work dress or something that you want to wear if you're going like on a date or you know out with your girls or something you know it's that perfect feminine um feminine real pretty real classy dress and it comes down to it's fingertip length so it's perfect for work too if you want to throw on a blazer or a cardigan or something or just wear it like it is um depending on where you work i couldn't do it because i got tattoos Unless, you know, I work somewhere that's a little progressive. Um, but it comes right under the knee. So, yes. And what would I wear with these? I would probably wear... Hmm. What would I wear with these? I would probably throw on... <sighs> Walking around like I know. Maybe the lime green. Or the mule. Or you can do the black, you know, heel with a cute bag. I don't know. It's whatever you want to do. Or a slide or something. I don't know. I feel like with this type of dress, you would have to do a heel or a mule. It would have to be a heel. Because it's very pretty. It's very feminine. You want to complete the look with the heel. But, um, yeah. That's what I would do with this dress. Let me know what you would do with it if you have something similar, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so next one. Okay, so this paisley number is something that is very different and bohemian and, you know, it has that cinched waist. So it's perfect for the curvy girls um, that have a little extra pudge that want to hide that extra, you know, little muffin top or what y'all call it a fupa or whatever like it's perfect for that if you have curves it'll fit you very nicely you know if you have a bust and like slim waist and you know hip you're a little hippie or you have like big thighs or you know you're a medium like me it'll fit you very well it's not tight but it's not skin tight you know it gives you that extra little leg room so this type of dress will be perfect for a woman like that that has curves or you know a little extra mm, a 
little extra pounds, you know, in the waist area, I will wear this dress right here. And what I would style it with a shoe um, out of what I have. I would do a heel again because it's very feminine. I would do the cheetah print again because, I don't know, I like playing around with prints. So I feel like the cheetah print with the paisley is kind of like very 70s. So maybe with the cool little um, shades. Let me see if I have them. The 70s like shades. These babies right here. With the cheetah print. And like a bag of sign. You know what I mean? That's, that's how you do that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm playing y'all. But uh. Yeah. Next piece. Okay, so this next piece is the top, y'all, not the shorts. You know the shorts is cute. The little short shorts. But this top is kind of like Japanese. Um, it has like an artist uh, drawing on it of a girl with blue hair, red lipstick. And then the back has the ocean with like little fishes on it. It kind of reminds me of like a scuba... Japanese, I don't know, top. I just thought it was really different. So, of course, I had to pick it up. I got it from Carolina Thrift for, I think, $5. But, yeah. The neckline comes all the way up the top. It has a mock neck around, mock neck top. You can either wear it all the way up or you can unzip it. Show a little cleavage, you know, if it gets hot. If you just want it, your neck to breathe, your chest to breathe, you can wear it like that. And yeah, I just wanted to show y'all the whole top. I probably wouldn't wear this together, but I'm not mad at it. Um, you could wear it with literally anything: leggings, a skirt. I didn't. I wanted to show the whole top, so shorts, a skirt, um, leggings, jeans, any bottom. Come on now, let's act like we. Let's act like we know. <laughs> but I would probably wear this outfit, maybe with a sneaker or a, a, a slide. I don't know. Or a mule. Probably with the clear. Because that's what I do. I love a mule in the summertime. So. Girl, throw on a mule with your outfit, okay? Throw on a mule. Anything you wear, if you're wearing biker shorts or little short shorts, you want to be sexy and grown, just throw on it. Throw on a mule. You know what I'm saying? That'll just elevate. That'll elevate your look. It'll have you feeling yourself. And you'll just be out here like, don't I look? You like my outfit. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, everybody should love this outfit that I have on. You know what I mean? I'm saying. Next piece. Alright, the next one I got is pretty self-explanatory, very basic, um, biker short. I wanted something kind of long. Uh, it's not as fitted on the thighs, it kind of has a little stretch to it. So, you know, baby girl gains, had these weight gains in the summertime, I'll be prepared for it, you know what I mean? And it has that, uh, striped side, it's gray. Let me show you. It's gray. Two striped side. Uh, black high waisted like the shorts, you know, I would wear it. Keep it sporty with the sports bra. You can do it with a crop top and a sneaker. I always wear chucks. I have new balances, but of course, you know what I'm saying? Throw on them, y'all. That's my summer styling tip. Okay? Throw on them, y'all. Or heel. Okay? Or slide. Something easy to make you feel girly and like kind of sexy or whatever that's what you want okay or throw on a sneaker keep it comfortable and cute and casual next piece all right y'all we're almost through but i got of course a couple more nice little items for y'all so we have this basic kind of like a stone gray uh, top. I'm wearing it backwards. I wear everything backwards. Um, 
but I just love the back detail and I thought it would be cuter in the front. So it has like a, a tied, like cinched um, lower back detail, a kind of like a mock neck, mock neck, uh, girl I can't even talk, a mock neck, no, what do you call it? Not a scoop neck, but like a crew neck, a crew neck tank top okay this is the front this is the back so i'm wearing it in the back uh with the slit detailing in the back in the front of it we're just gonna call it the front ladies and gentlemen um stone gray something basic and like kind of contemporary and fun and you know bohemian i'm wearing it with these leggings right here today so i'm gonna throw on a mule with it or you can throw on a Chuck Taylor, uh, any kind of sneaker. It's a very basic kind of colorway, so you can throw on a funky sneaker with different colors in it to like give it that edge, that pop of color, that sense of fun and like you know youthfulness. If you got that in you, or if you just want to wear a cute outfit and have your outfit speak for you, you know what I mean. You don't gotta say nothing. Just be like, just come into the room and be like, you know, I don't gotta talk. Just look at my outfit, you know what I'm saying? Just enjoy how I present myself. <laughs> Just enjoy this outfit, you know what I mean? My outfit speaks for me, you know what I'm saying? Like, it lets you know how I'm feeling for the day. It lets you know that I got that package <laughs> for you. I got that drip for you, okay? I got that drip. I got drip for sale. <laughs> It ain't for sale as far as like my clothes, but it's for sale as far as like, you know, this talent. So, <laughs> but yeah, we almost through. I got a couple of sh a couple more stuff for you. I was about to curse, but I'm trying not to. Or being a good girl, I'm trying not to. So next outfit or next item. Okay, these next two tees I got from. Carolina Thrift, 50% off. They were, I think, $3. Of course, literally almost everything that I got was $3 that day. Sorry, I forgot to start telling y'all the price points or whatever, but just know I literally got it for $3 to $6 um, at Carolina Thrift. And at the Salvation Army, it was $5 bag day, so I got it for free. This crop top pretty much fits the same, but um, it's striped. It has a little hole in it. It's Charlotte Bruce. It's small. Uh... Kind of like your basic throw on summer tees, or you can wear them any season, just throw it on with the um sweater. But yes, this one is Zara. It has a little pocket detailing on the left hand side. And yes, that's it for the crop tops. And we have a couple more stuff coming up next. I'm trying to make this into 30 minutes. So, we got two minutes left. Two and some change. So, let's get it. Okay, these next two pieces I got from the Carolina Thrift $5 bag day. This top is Banana Republic. It has that tan, white, and what color is this? Peach detailing in it with a pocket on the left-hand side. And then we have this misguided skirt with the very, very, very sexy split you can see where it comes down to the bottom of my knees um of course you can wear a heel with this and the heel that i would probably wear the lime green just to throw on like a little pop of color i like how it has the gray in it uh, if you don't want to do that you can just wear the bcbgs if you don't want to do that you can throw on the clear I love the clear because it goes with everything. We're going to fix that. You're going to throw in the clear. And what do we have next? I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to show you what I have next because I don't feel like trying it on anymore. <laughs> so we have this uh, pinstripe navy blue and white. Um, kind of like a. Is it? It's. It's like a palazzo, but not really. 
What do you want to call it? I don't know the proper terminology. Wide leg. It's on tag. So it's a wide leg pant. It's from White and Black Market. I got it from the $5 bag. <laughs> the $5 bag. Um, sale at Salvation Army. It fits really, really well. It's a size 2 regular. Um, I guess I'm a size 2 in women's and like a size 5 in uh, juniors. So, well, I can wear a 4 or 5 or, yeah, 4 or, or a 2 or a 4 right now. I used to be a 6 or an 8. So, yeah, it fits really, really well. I could like slide it over. Slide it over. Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna just try on these pants so y'all can see how they fit. Mm. Fix that belt right there. Okay. So the fit, honey, that fit. You want it to fit nicely around your waist, around, you know, your mid, like, upper waist section so you don't have that, you know, that fupa, that extra pudge, ladies. You want it to fit nice. You want it to be your size. Um, it can be a little oversized, I guess, since it has this belt. But you, you want it to have that perfect tailored fit, especially from your waist down to your upper thigh. And then after that, it can be as boxy as it, it wants to be. So, you know, it's wide leg. It's perfect for the summer. Spring, summer, fall, winter, whatever. Perfectly the spring. It's kind of, it's not that lightweight. So, you don't want to be dying in the summertime wearing this with like a tube top and like heels or something. Not saying that you can't do it if, you, if you're bold enough or like brave enough. To do that, to pull that look off, honey, do you, but I'm, I wouldn't do it. So next we have these navy blue pants. I got a lot of navy blue pants. I don't know why, but I, I did. Um, yeah. $5 bag day. Again. It's really lightweight. It's Forever 21. Forever 21, size extra small. A uh, very, it has like that cinched elastic waistband. So even though it's an extra small, it can probably run up to like maybe a medium, a medium, or whatever. So it's cute. High waisted, skinny leg, you know, pant. You can wear it to work. It's very high. It's very lightweight, so you can wear it to work. You can wear it to out to dinner. You can do, you know, a casual look with it with some sneakers and like a shirt, screen tee, whatever. If that's what you want to do. This next one I'm gonna say it's the Adidas suit. It's a Adidas sweatsuit, but it's not really a Adidas sweatsuit. <laughs> it's Adidas pants though that I got for a five dollar bag day with the pocket on the side. You know, uh, kind of like a regular sweatpant. Doesn't have that elastic band that makes it skinny at the bottom, but you know, it's cute, see? And this jacket is by Justice, size 16 to 18. You know, that's a little girl's clothing brand, but I can still fit kids. How you doing? <laughs> I can still fit kids. So... I thought this would be really cute to wear with the Adidas suit. Plus, I needed a, like, basic uh, jacket. So, you know, I scored with this. Even if it wasn't Justice, I probably would still wear it. But I'm happy that I can still fit kids, you know. Because kids' clothes would be cute. I'd be seeing the kids' clothes in, like, Target and Zara and Marshalls. And I'm like, why they don't sell this for the grown-ups? For the, for the teens? Like, they be, you know, their stuff be cute, too. So, yes. That is my styling, that is my huge try on haul and thrift haul. Um, let me know if y'all like my pieces. Let me know if you need a personal shopper, honey, because I got you. You know what I mean? I could hook you up. So, yeah. 
if you want me to spend a hundred dollars and you give me 50 just for working for you matter of fact let me switch that around you give me 50 and i spend 50 and i i hook you up you know what i mean you can do that for literally anybody so yeah hire hire me you know what i'm saying book me i'm trying to be booked and busy this summer this spring summer so let me know you know what you need and i got you honey okay ladies and gentlemen all right so yeah hope you liked comment and subscribe don't be scared to give it a thumbs up and have a blessed tuesday enjoy your week and yeah bye